Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only, just David. Happy Patreon Saturdays. How is everyone doing? How has this month of January been fast or slow for all of you guys? I am not sure, to be honest with you. Like, in a way, how the hell is it basically the end of January, like in the 20s? But at the same time, New Year's Eve seems like five years ago. So I don't know. I don't know. January is always a tough one for me. My least favorite month actually is March. I hate March. It's just a nothing of a month. You know, it's like it's still fucking winter and the spring is like in the air. I don't know. I just hate March. I can't help it. But how is everyone doing? We have a lot to get to today, guys. We have some Jersey stuff we got to break down. As I sip my coffee, my voice is cracking. But here's the deal, my friends. Let's talk about this episode of Beverly Hills. We might get to some Vanderpump. They had the premiere right down the street. They had their premiere party. Valley Village. Guys, we got to get to it. Shut up, David. Focus and let's go. But just wanted to welcome you guys all in on this lovely Saturday, Beverly Hills. Now, look, um, Sarah and I, Miss Sarah Fraser and I attended this event, Homeless, Not Toothless. We had a whole episode on it when it came out. We'll throw some little tidbits in here today on how this all went. Um, you know, we were there. Some behind the scenes tea. So we start the episode and I still, it, let's start here. Cause they show, you know, last week on Beverly Hills and then Sutton makes this statement early on in this episode that, you know, about Mauricio, um, that he can attend the homeless, not toothless event, but not his wife's uh, dead friend uh, celebration of life. It is kind of weird that Mo wasn't there. Now, we all know that. Oh, and we'll talk about what, what, what I observed between Colin Mauricio at home is not too less. Because I actually have something to say. But it is weird. I think he should have been there. You know, look, it's obviously over between the two of you. I mean, it's 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 really over. It's not like, you know, like when couples break off and it's like War of the Roses and they have these huge fights. I mean, it's not even that. These two just fucking are coexisting you know just coexisting and look i mean uh, more power to you if you could stay in the same house i mean who the fuck is calling me oh my god at this hour okay hold on wait hold on i'm not even gonna get it this is crazy i, I can't take a call in the middle of uh, doing a show um but okay, so like, why not just stay in the house if you're like, the thing is like when Mauricio isn't home for three days and he's skiing with like Lily Pons and Anita, does that bother Kyle when Kyle is off in Mexico on her, you know, birthday? Does that bother? Does that bother Mo? If it doesn't, then just stay in the house. You know what I mean? Right? Like... But I don't know. But it is weird that he wasn't there. That's really what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're still talking about Sutton's esophagus. I mean, I'm over this. I'm over this. It seems like we're wrapping it up and we're moving on to other things. Is this Puppygate? I can't take a whole rest of the season on Puppygate. Puppygate didn't bother me, to be honest with you. It bothered a lot of you guys. This esophagus business, it's really fucking bothering me. I'm over it. <sighs> Which leads me to Anne Marie. You know, guys, so I've said that she reminds me of Tanya Sam. A lot of you have slipped into my DMs even before you have said that as well. She reminds me of Tanya Sam from Atlanta. But regardless, that's neither here nor there. Tanya, I actually kind of like. Um, I met Anne Marie at home. It's not toothless. I'm really trying to keep it positive. Anne Marie bugs the fucking shit out of me. She bugs the shit out of me. I, I can't help it. There's nothing she's doing. There's nothing she's saying. You know, and let me just also say, it's really hard. I mean, imagine how hard it is to come into a group when you have really established housewives. Kyle and OG. Erica's been around forever. I mean, at this point, can we even remember Beverly Hills before Sutton and um, Garcelle? So, 
if you think about it, if you think about it, it's it's a hard group to come into. So I want to get into that in a second, but she just bugs me. She just bugs me, this Anne Marie. I don't know why. You know, and I made me think of somebody else that bugs all of you guys more than she bugs me. You guys, you know, you call Teddy the gnat. Teddy really bothered you. Like, I have to think back. Like, I didn't have the visceral reaction to Teddy on Beverly Hills in the seasons that she was on. She did well, she didn't jump out as someone I like couldn't stop watching, but she really never bothered me. She really didn't. So I'm starting to, I think, understand all of you who dislike Teddy so much and who Teddy bothers you so much. I'm starting to think like, did your reactions to Teddy, is that what I'm feeling towards Anne Marie? Because Anne Marie is just, she's like the gnat. She's just getting under my skin. And I have nothing against the woman. I, she was lovely in person. Lovely. Marcellus was lovely. And it's in the editing, but she's just, she's bothering me. I don't know why. I really, truly don't know why. Like when I say that I just, you know, I did my little recap this week on Salt Lake Housewives. And I'm like, even though she ran a totally fake Finsta troll account, there's something I find authentic about Monica when she's on that stage that she's not rehearsed, that she's just saying what's coming to mind. And I just got to go with my gut that Monica, it just feels authentic. So I got to just go with my gut. I just, Anne Marie's bothering me, but that's that. Before we get into the cast trip, which they foreshadow, um, how does um, Potomac go to uh, Austin, Texas? And Salt Lake is visiting. I mean, I love you, girl, Trixie, but Salt Lake is visiting the fucking Trixie Motel. And they're doing road trips in a fucking Sprinter van. And the Beverly Hills people are flying off to Barcelona, right? I mean, now let's not forget the days when, like, Nene Leaks and company were in Africa. Now that's a fucking trip. Africa is my favorite continent that I've ever been to. Antarctica is my second favorite continent that I've been to. But Africa is like, even like Morocco for the Roni. I mean, it's closer than Africa. It's not as far. It's not as hard to get to. But it's still, it's not Austin, Texas. Sorry, Texas. I don't know. I just thought I would note all of that. So... Crystal versus Anne Marie. I've got some thoughts on this one, dear. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm really being shady today. But, you know, I feel, you know, Kyle is saying like, oh, we always want to Crystal to find her voice, find her voice. Is Crystal really bothered by Anne Marie? Or is Crystal just like, finally, I have a weak target that I can come after, right? Like, Crystal can't get a word in edgewise with uh, Erica Jane. She will 